All right, everyone. Welcome. It is a uh, Tuesday night in a uh, beautiful September evening, September 9th. And I don't know if you guys saw the latest news, but it looks like iPhone decided to, or Apple decided to get their new iPhone out, which they are a very interesting company. We'll we'll briefly talk about tonight as well. But if you're on here, you are interested in knowing what to do for your practice. My name is Curtis Marshall with Dental Intel. I've been able to work with uh, dentists nationwide to really help them understand numbers and be excited for dentistry. I found oftentimes a dentist or even staff get into the dental field thinking one thing and then when they re realize what's going on in the practice, their status quo or what their expectations are lowers. And it shouldn't. And so we're going to go over that today. If you do have any questions throughout this, uh, feel free to shoot me an email. My email is very simple. It's curtis at dentalintel.com. And my cell phone number, if you want to shoot me a text or give me a call later on, it's 801-380-7070. But with that in mind, let's go ahead and jump right in. And uh, it's only going to be about 30 minutes tonight, so I hope you are ready to gather in a whole bunch of good information. First off, let's see here, if we can get this going, there we go. Okay, it doesn't matter what type of organization it is out there, whether it's a hospital, businesses, or even dental labs. We've even seen it with sports teams lately, that everybody is trying to understand their data and know what to do about it. Well, these companies right here, what they do is they hire a full-time analyst to come into their office or to their business and what they want this full-time analyst to do is to gather all the information and lead them or help them to know what's going on. The problem is that these analysts cost, a, they're a six-figure income, uh, so they do really well they, because they're so valuable. And for years, these organizations have invested all this great time and resources in for the one simple thing to tell them if their business was healthy or if it needed to be strengthened and where it could be order to do that. And these uh, full-time analysts, that's what they do all day, day in and day out. And to, so in short, what these, all these uh, organizations are doing is they want accurate information to achieve the goals that they want to be able to hit. So they get up. They have all this information, these spreadsheets and these receipts and reports and everything that they want to have, and they want it all compiled in and to make it really easy. Well, I think you might know where I'm going here. Dentistry is the same way. Oftentimes, within the dental practice, we want to uh, be successful, but we also have a responsibility. We need to provide health care to our patients. In addition, we are also a business. When in the, within this, uh, as a business, we need to make sure that we provide financial returns uh, and healthy quality of life. And so the dentist or the office manager gathers all this information, runs the data, runs the business, but where is the time to provide exceptional dentistry? Well, that's where this crystal ball method is coming into. But as of right now, what the dental offices are doing, most dentists are doing, is they're just writing out reports. What reports do you guys pull? Do you pull probably production, uh, collections, new patients, a account receivable? Um, there's multiple reports that you're able to pull, but why are you pulling them? So here's my next question for you. With all this information from your practice management software and QuickBooks, do you, one, just print the reports, put them on your desk, or give them to your office manager? Do you, two, do you actually review them? Do you re review what's going on, but not knowing exactly uh, what's happened in the past? Or do you hope that someone is understanding and tracking the crucial metrics that are needed to make a uh, performance and business decisions? Hope that somebody else is doing it. If we back up here, what would be nice to have is having real-time, relevant, and accurate 
understand metrics or numbers that are easy to understand uh, and so that your team can understand those same things as well well all these reports unfortunately are like looking in the rearview mirror they're telling you exactly what's happened in the past and the past may be great the past may be wonderful if you can see here it's a little tinted but you know it's a nice country road everything was good and I know exactly what happened I know that I passed the possum uh, 10 feet back I can see in there that uh, the hitchhiker is in the background I know exactly what has happened in the past by looking in my rearview mirror but when you're looking in your rearview mirror it's hard to see opportunities or threats on the road that lie ahead until it's too late so what do you do about it well there's this thing called business intelligence Business intelligence simply is uh, a way to gather information and simplify it so that anybody, a business person, a doctor, a front desk, whoever it is, can interpret that information and get make be able to make decisions from it. So it's not cookie cutter. It's not the same as uh, neighborhood dental down the street. This is just for you. That's what business intelligence is able to do for you. And uh, with that information, business intelligence really is the future. It is what is powering all these other uh, offices that I was talking to you about, whether it's a hospital or, or a football team or NBA team or even a dental lab. That's, this is what they're using to grow is business intelligence. Let me give you some examples here of what it, some in business intelligence has been used. In 1985, as you can see on your screen here, Southwest was one of the first airlines to use business intelligence. And because of that, today, Southwest Airlines is the world's largest low-cost carrier. They have like 44,000 plus employees. They go to thousands of flights per day. They have succeeded both in steady growth, in financial, and ultimately business success over everyone else because they use business intelligence. On the other hand, in the 1990s, we have two companies here. We got Kodak and we got Fujifilm. Both did wonderful in their own markets. Kodak being in the United States, Fujifilm being over in Asia, they both did wonderful. Yet the status quo changed, meaning they weren't using film anymore. People weren't using film anymore in the 90s. Kodak thought, oh, hey, I'm just going to keep on keeping on. I'm going to be the best at what I'm doing. I'm not going to listen to what information is out there. I'm just going to keep doing. Fujifilm, on the other hand, transferred, uh, saw what was going on, and used business intelligence to make their decisions. What resulted in that? Well, a large difference in profitability. Today, uh, Fujifilm is somewhere around $12.6 uh, $12 billion dollars where Kodak is only 220 million. Well, couldn't spit those out. <laughs> but 12 billion to 200 million is the difference. Why do these guys fare so differently? Simply, business intelligence. So if you can think about this being in your practice, you can see how uh, getting, get, having crucial information to make decisions can be very, uh, make a huge difference uh, within the future. So, what are we going to do? What is, what's, in a nutshell, business intelligence analyzes all the raw data. Whether, no matter where it's coming from, they, it brings it all in, and it's being able to pump it out to a dental or anybody, but we're talking about dental offices here. It's able to pump it to a dental office in meaningful, relevant, and timely information. So, business intelligence on dashboards. So once we have all this business intelligence, we want to actually see it on a visual dashboard. And we see that in many areas. The stock market, we're able to look at the stock market, uh, and it shows us a dashboard of exactly what's going on. It has all this data, all this information in the background, and then displays it to us, telling us exactly what happened. In our car, things are happening. The wheels are turning. The gas is going down. The... The uh, engine is at a high RPM, whatever it might be, things are happening in the background and the car, the dashboard is able to tell us exactly what happened. 
our i the phones or the iPhones, if you all that technology, there's so much going on in the background of that. But you can look at simple apps to tell you exactly what's going on. Your your best friend tagged you on Facebook, and you, guess what? Facebook has a little alert that tells you, "Hey, come look at me. Somebody tagged you. Uh, you got an email or a." A text message. Hey, it, it buzzes and it alerts you saying, hey, there is crucial information for you right now. Those are visual dash of all this business intelligence or intelligence, business intelligence that is displayed on a dashboard. I hope you're thinking what, where I'm pushing you at. How great would it be to have all the information within your practice viewed on a simple, easy-to-read dashboard so that you can make simple decisions to go off in the future. Well, here is another example. There's different types of dashboards out there. Some of them tell you good information. Others tell you better. For example, the gas in your car. One dashboard will tell you, oh, you're close to empty, you're close to full. Another dashboard will actually tell you hey, you have two, 102 miles left, so you better hurry up uh, before you run out of gas. I love that new feature in my car. Uh, I was driving down the road the other day and passed a gas station, realized that I was only had 15 miles left and had to turn around, went back to the gas station, filled up, so I wasn't stranded 15 miles down the road. It's uh, something that's uh, been able to help me, and I was able to see that because of the miles left on there. If I just had the gauge on the left here, I probably would have pushed it to see how far it says empty, but it's not really always empty, uh, so we'll see how far I can push it. If I would have done that, I would have been stranded. The, uh, with business intelligence, what it can do for us, and can tell us a few different things here. Uh, oh, I lost my place here. What it can tell us is, number one, if we need to stop doing something. Hey, you need to stop stop running around. You need to stop uh, spending money on marketing. You need to stop uh, over. You need to stop presenting crowns. Whatever it might be, it can tell you what to stop. It can also tell you what to keep on doing. Hey, you're doing good at uh, getting new patients in. Continue doing that. Or it can tell you, all right, now you need to start collecting on AR. You're uh, making sure that you get all your accounts receivable, and now you got to get that going. It can tell you what to stop, what to keep doing, or whether uh, you need to uh, start it all together. What I want you to stop doing today is I want you to stop looking in the rearview mirror. Look ahead. Don't look in the past. Don't look at what's happened. I want you to look ahead and make decisions based on what's happening in front of you. Now, you can glance in the back, but stop looking at those reports because all they're doing is telling you exactly what happened and not what to do in the future. With that, what you're able to do, uh, so how you're able to look in the future is you take your practice management software, uh, your spreadsheets, and your QuickBooks, and you put it all into business intelligence, a business intelligence which is typically in the cloud somewhere. Business intelligence grabs all that information, analyzes it, organizes it, and spits it out for your specific office in a daily dashboard and says, hey, doctor, this is what you're supposed to do today. Hey, office manager, this is the direction we need to be going in order to be more profitable. Whatever the situation might be, that's exactly what the daily dashboard is going to be doing for you. Now, I've got a great example of a doctor in Arizona who gave us a call and said, hey, look, I am in trouble. I can't make payroll. Can you help me find somebody that can uh, give me a loan for, for payroll? And we looked at his numbers, looked at everything in the, in the rearview mirror, and said, doctor, you're in a tough situation here. You have been looking in the he, – actually, he wasn't even looking in the rearview mirror – You've just been driving along, not paying attention to what's going on or what happened behind you, and you are so far along that no, nobody can, you, you can't be helped. You have to close your doors. There's no way for you to become profitable again. 
that's a sad story, something that we don't want to ever see with any of our pr practices. But this one, unfortunately, did have to uh, view that sad realization. We had another doctor that gave us a call and said, hey, look, I'm going to sell my practice. I'm ready to go. You know, I'm going to be an associate. I'm sick of being a of of being a, an owner doctor. And we looked at his numbers and said, you better not sell this practice. You are just on the brink of having huge success. The year he called us, he took home $76,000, which is decent for his community, but not what he wanted to take home. After working with us for only six months, after being able to look at his numbers and make decisions based off those numbers, uh, based off uh, all the, the business intelligence which he was able to gather, he didn't change anything. He didn't spend more money. He didn't do anything. He just looked at what's going on in front of him rather than looking at reports in the past. He was able to take home more than triple that. Over $300,000 uh, was his net take home. So just by doing a few simple things, he was able to make a huge difference. Now, doctors nationwide are starting to use these daily dashboards to make decisions. They're throwing away their spreadsheets. They're throwing away their, their reports, their, everything that they pulled in the past, and they are focusing on these daily dashboards in order for success. And what do I mean by this? For example, what Dental Intel does is they offer a daily dashboard that you're able to view. In addition, they also provide a, an MBA data analyst to tell you exactly, hey, this, are, this is what the numbers are telling you. It's telling a story. This is what's saying for your office. It's not saying, oh, I've seen in another office that uh, it was really good to put up TVs in your office, and so that's what you need to do. You need to put up TVs. No, it's saying for your office, this is what you need to be doing. And with, the, with those two things together, you got simple success. There are other dashboards out there that just provide you with reports on a pretty screen. Well, reports aren't what you want. You want those reports pulled in with business intelligence uh, and preferably somebody who understands that information to help you, help you along. Now, when you use a dental, intel, a dental intel technology, your individual self will continue to rise, uh, your productivity, your ambition, all that. The team's productivity and goals will rise, and ultimately the practice profitability is skyrockets, whether it's working more days or, excuse me, working, oh, excuse, we'll go over that right now. Here's an example, Dr. in Washington. We call this example boosting productivity. He came to us and he said, all right, right now I'm working five days a week. I'm taking home a great salary. I'm, working I'm taking home $208,000 a year. I'm working great, but you know what? I want to spend some more time with my family. And I live in the great state of Washington. I've got lots of fun things to do outside. So we looked at his numbers, found out exactly what's going on in this practice, and you won't believe what happened. After a short few months, he was able to work three days a week and was able to take home three hundred and fifty-five thousand uh, in take-home. This isn't uh, what he produced. This is in take-home money that he has. And the reason why he was able to do this was because he was able, he looked at his numbers and made decisions based on that information. Nike, a uh, very powerful, large company out there, uh, has looked at many different things and what they've told, uh, what they, we, we've found something very important that they've mentioned over and over again to their team, that when, when performance is measured, performance improves. When performance is measured and reported back, that rate of performance accelerates. We've seen that to be true in our within our company, we've seen it be true within dental practices nationwide and even in Canada, that when they measure performance, that performance improves. And we don't want you to wait any longer. We want you to experience what dental te Intel technology can do for you. For a short 15-minute demo on exactly how it can help you in your practice, you can go ahead and text me. Uh, my cell phone number is 801-380-7070, as you can see on the screen here.
but we have a lot of great excitement, uh, great exciting things happening here in the future with some practices and some new dashboards, and we'd love to show you how that works. I did want to explain another situation that we had with the, one of our doctors. He's uh, out in Delaware, and he he's very business savvy. He's producing to, by himself millions of dollars every year. Uh, two to three million dollars. That's what he's producing. So he's very hot. He's a high producing practice. But he's always said, hey, look, I had I have all this information. I don't know what it's saying. I'm just kind of doing what I can with it. But he said, with, business, with Dental Intel, I'm able now to understand this data and make decisions based on that information. And that's what we want you to be able to do. We want you as a doctor, you as a practice manager, to be able to make decisions based on the numbers and not just, oh, you know what, I feel like this is what's best for the practice. I feel like this is what I need to be doing. But rather, this is what is going to happen and this is, is what's going to make our practice better. So don't delay. Love to, love to see if we can, uh, love to show you a demo of our, practice, of our uh, technology and how it works. We're able to integrate both with uh, Dentrix, EagleSoft, and Open Dental at this time. And if you don't have those things, we're able to pull in manually some other information from your practice software. If you have QuickBooks, that's awesome. We'd also be pulling from your QuickBooks into our software and showing you that information and then also some spreadsheets on some specific goals that you may be working on. But my name's Curtis Marshall. I told you I wouldn't go over 30 minutes and I, I try to stick to it. If you do have extra questions, you can type them in the chat box below. Uh, but I'll just keep this up for the meantime, and I hope you have a blessed day. It's a, We had a wonderful summer, and looking forward to ending this new year uh, on a bang.